Hey guys, it's Medicosis Perfect Snatus, where medicine makes perfect sense. Let's continue our microbiology and infectious diseases playlist. In previous videos, we talked about Listeria. Today, we'll talk about Corynea bacteria, the famous gram-positive rod. As you know, the most clinically significant Corynea bacteria is Corynea bacterium diphtheria, which can lead to respiratory diphtheria or cutaneous diphtheria, the famous pseudomembranous pharyngitis with lymphadenopathy, and the infamous chronic non-healing ulcer. With that said, now let's get started. Please watch the videos in this playlist in order. Moreover, these illustrated notes are available to download on my website medicosisperfectionalis.com. Are diphtheria gram-positive or gram-negative? They are gram-positive. Are they cocci? No, they are rods. Are they spore-forming? No, they are non-spore-forming. Do we consider them aerobic or anaerobic? They are aerobic or, at the very least, facultative anaerobe. Okay, medicosis, do you think they are motile or immotile? Doesn't matter what I think, they are immotile. So, to recap, Corynea bacteria are gram-positive rods, non-spore-forming, aerobic, immotile. What does the word Corynea mean? It means club-shaped. The genus is called Corynea bacteria. Species-wise, we have more than 100. The most famous is Corynea bacterium diphtheria. The cell wall of the Corynea bacteria is rich in arabinose, galactose, mesodiaminopamilic acid, who named these things, and short-chain mycolic acid. This is important. Quick notes about mycolic acid. If a bacterium has short-chain mycolic acid in the cell wall, then it's probably not acid-fast. But if a bacterium has medium to long-chain mycolic acid, it is probably acid-fast. The example of the former is Corynea bacteria. The example of the latter is Mycobacteria. Speaking of tuberculosis, I have a specific video about it in my pulmonology playlist. Corine bacteria, gram-positive rods, non-spore-forming, aerobic or facultative anaerobes, immotile, catalase-positive, i.e. they are capable of converting the harmful hydrogen peroxide into the harmless water and oxygen. They can ferment carbohydrate, and when you ferment carbohydrate, you will release what? Lactic acid. Corynea bacteria colonize the human upper respiratory tract, gastrointestinal tract, and genitourinary tract. The most famous Corynea bacteria include Corynea bacterium diphtheria, which is the topic of the next video, Arcanobacterium trophorema, and Rothia. Does anyone remember Whipple disease? Yes, it is caused by Trophorema Whipelli. If you like this video, you will enjoy my antibiotics course, which will equip you with deep understanding of antibacterials, antifungals, antivirals, and antiparasitic medications. I also have a surgery high yields course and an emergency medicine high yields course. In the next video, we'll talk about Corynea bacterium diphtheria. In the meantime, please subscribe, hit the bell, and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to my website to download my courses. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense.